What's going on everybody? It's Adonis at Absolutely Tech, and today we're going to be going over the Halo Spartan Strike game on iOS. So let's just get this out of the way. Halo is super big. I'm not even a gamer and I know what Halo is and I've played Halo myself, um, two of the games, uh, very fun. Um, and they're bringing this now to the iPhone and Android devices. Now I've been playing it for the past couple of hours. I'm gonna give you my thoughts on it. And um, this is no nowhere near a review. I haven't actually used it for that amount of time, but I can give you my first thoughts on it from a non-gamer's perspective. So let's get into it, see what the UI looks like, see what the gameplay looks like, and we're gonna see if it's worth your hard-earned money. All right, guys, so we're gonna actually jump into the Halo game. So Halo, uh. What I'm gonna do too is I'll play um, kind of the preview video so you can kind of get an idea of what it is the story is about. Um, so you can kind of get an idea for that. Let me turn the volume. I'm gonna go start. There is a tutorial as far as um, what the controls are on the game. I'm not gonna go through that. You guys can do that on your own, but I do want, I'll show you some gameplay as well though. And we'll play the operation. So this is the second operation. This is the first operation. Let's just play the first one so you can kind of get an idea. Greetings, Spartan. I'm Roland, the UNSC Infinity's AI. The Office of Naval Intelligence has cleared you to access a highly classified combat simulation. It's based on events that took place during the Battle of New Mombasa in 2552. Six years ago, a Covenant fleet attacked the city of New Mombasa. Any school kid will tell you that much. But many of the details of that attack were known only at the highest levels of government. Until now. While fighting raged throughout the city, Covenant forces secretly hunted for the portal to the Ark. But they were also looking for something else. The operation we'll study today began when we learned the Covenant found an artifact known as the Conduit. Back in 52, we sent a team of ODSTs in to secure the artifact. Our combat simulation is up and running, so let's see how you do playing through this operation as a lone spark. Good luck. So, for those that are super Halo fanatics, I'm not 100% sure what that's referring to. Um, so if you guys want to let me know, leave it down below um, as far as what it's referring to, if you guys saw any Easter eggs in that. So I'm just going to play this so you guys can get an idea of what this looks like. So we're selecting the first mission here. Select. And these are, I guess, achievements for the game. And then you press and hold here with two fingers. landing zone got too hot, so we dropped you here instead. Looks like the impact busted your weapons. We'll need to replace them. Sending you a waypoint. So I use the left joystick here to control where Eyes I'm moving. That grunt, Spartan. Use your melee skills to take him down. Now the melee is pressing anywhere on the display that isn't where the controller is, and he'll Good. knock now him out. Raid that covenant weapon lock so I have the weapon here. I can hit the little hand there, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go here and get these weapons here. Excellent. Now destroy that enemy shield so you can reach UNSC forces. Go here. Now this joystick here, you can't really see it, but it allows me to shoot. But it doesn't... If I press and hold on some weapons, it'll do like a power up and then it'll shoot. But it it's just like a direction, so I can... Hold and drag in a direction, it will shoot in that direction. But if I just press and hold it, it's just going to charge. So just keep that in mind. Well done, Spartan. More coveys incoming. Help the Marines repel them.
So there's any more guys over here. Yep. Great. There's a UNSC controlled green zone due east of you. Get to it. Alright. So over here. Is it over there? Nope. It's over here. So these have different weapons here. People that have played the Halo series know, but people that haven't, you have different weapons. You have the weapons from the aliens, or I don't think they're called the Covenant. Correct me if I'm wrong, guys. And then you have the military weapons that um, that you can use as well. Now, if I wanted to switch guns, I'd just tap up here and it would switch what guns that I have. So I can do that. If I wanted to use my pistol, I could use that instead. So the grenades are a little bit different to use, um, and I'll show you what that looks like. So when you walk up to them, it'll automatically grab them. You'll see them in the corner here. So I have to blow this right here. So what I'm gonna do, I think, so I double tap and hold. So tap, tap, or right here. So tap, tap, and then you'll see like a target. And I can let go and it'll send it. So, show what it looks like again. So I can lock on certain characters. So I'm really bad at this, but you kind of get the idea. It's like a double, it's like a tap and hold, tap and hold, and then I can lock on and let go. If you run out of grenades, look for the Covenant Plasma kind. They stick to enemy units. There, Spartan. Gonna go through. We're almost there. I like this gun a lot. Let's grab this one. This one's really cool. You guys can kind of get an idea of what this game looks like. It's pretty interesting. I can use that to use a turret, and it shoots exactly how you would use it on, uh, as far as shooting a regular gun. It's pretty interesting. I did want to show you guys um, what you can do as well, because that's the first mission. It, some of the things weren't showing, so I do want to show you this really quick. Now you do have loadout options as well. So this didn't show on the first one since it was the first mission, but this does have loadout options for certain levels that you, well, every level you go to from there on out. 
And you get these points after every round that you do, and you can use it to set up your loadout. Now it will, it says right here, select an upgrade. This upgrade will only be active for, or be active during your next session. So the points you gain will allow you to upgrade your loadout, but only for that next mission. So keep that in mind. And then you have your skulls here to create difficulty for you, but you get bigger bonuses depending on what difficulty you set. So you can set a, a, a certain amount to only two you can set for a total of 170 or for 75. So if I wanted to do this one here, I could do this one. And then I'll go to this one. If I wanted to do that. And then you're ready. And then you just go into it and it tells you what the mission uh, assault ops are for the mission and get ready to go. And that's it. To boost the conduit signal, we need three drop zones cleared for signal beacon. So what do you guys think about this new Halo game? Personally, I'm a little bit on the fence about it. I wanna get a Bluetooth controller to see if that changes any of the gameplay experience for me. Um, the on-screen controllers, they're okay, but I think they could be a little bit better. Um, but for those that have been playing the Halo franchise, what do you guys think? Is this something that lives up to the Halo name or the Halo standard? The story, how is that for you guys? Let me know down below what you guys think. And then for those that have no, I no idea what Halo is or aren't gamers, give me your guys' feedback as well. Also guys, I am running a GoFundMe campaign right now for my channel, the link is right here. If you guys wanna check that out, you can. I'm not forcing anybody to donate. If you guys would like to though and support the channel, just to help me better my videos as far as quality goes, click that link there, I would really appreciate it. Other than that guys, thank you so much for watching. Give the video a thumbs up, subscribe to the channel if you haven't. Till next time guys, see you later.